Well, good morning, folks. Beautiful day out here on the Tennessee River once again. It's cloudy, spitting a little bit of rain. Still a pretty day. The water temp, the surface temp is at 56 degrees this morning. And we're going to fish for crappie. And what I'm going to use today, uh, uh -huh. what I'm going to use today is a CR7. It's a six foot three, medium light, extra fast tip cadence rod, one piece rod, very sensitive, with four pound test Mr. Crappie line, high vis line, and just a one thirty second ounce jig, tied with a loop knot right here, which I'll show you with a Bobby Garland blue eyes. Uh, and that's it, real simple. We're gonna cover water and see if we can't catch a few of these sockeye. All right, it's real calm back here, folks. It's real pretty, calm, flat water. Got my jack drag adjusted. I can't even talk. I'm so anxious about going fishing right here. But this is a Mitchell 300. This is your Walmart special. I think you can get them for about 30 something dollars. Good reel for casting. Oversized spool. Yeah, it eliminates line twist, period, by having this big spool right here. It's really a bass reel, but I like big spools when it comes to four or six pound test line. Really handles the line, keeps that coil in and twisting and wind knots and stuff like that from giving you a problem but I got a treetop right out here in front of me actually I have two real shallow they're probably off in about two feet of water and I'm in about four feet right now so we're going to make us a cast like that hold that rod tip up and come back real slow just like that Just a slow, steady wind. Every once in a while, I'll let the jig drop like that and then get it back. I mm. thought I had a bite there, but I didn't. Got on the bottom. It's pretty skinny water right here. We may have to move on, but now they should be a crappie right there. Feel bad. I'll make a few casts right in there. And that's one thing I do on these blowdowns or laydowns or tops, whatever you want to call them. I'll make several casts before I move to the next one when I'm hunting these fish. There we go. What have we got right here? What in the world could that be? Could that be a crappie fish? Sure acts like one. Now that fish is in real skinny water, folks. And we'll just let him fight until we get him right over here in behind old Bessie. Yeah. It's a crappie. Go. Come on in here. Black crappie. Okay, let's get her pliers right here and get him loose. Or her. There we go. Beautiful fish. Let him go. Back. You know. Being out here is peaceful. I hear woodpeckers and all kinds of screaming birds. I don't know what that was a while ago, but it, it'd knock your ears off. It's loud. And it's enjoyable just being out here. Now that fish bit right in there. I mean, a little bit different angle. I'm gonna hold that rod up, come on through there again, see if he's got a buddy. There's another one. That must be his buddy. There was some fish right on the end of that top there. Matter of fact, before I set the hook, I seen the fish flash. I just seen him turn sideways and I knew we had us another crappie. This one ain't a very big one. 
Come on back. Oh, I tried my best to get him out of that motor, but come on in here. Quit that. Why do y'all want to go to, towards the prop every time? They do, though. Seems like they know where it's at. That's a black crappie. Let him go. We'll make us another cast in there. That's what happened. Going back. Shaking his head there like that. I imagine there's another bite there, but we'll see. Uh, I'm close, but I'm a little bit off. But I'm going to come right back through there. I'm going to run it back through there one more time. There we go. That one more time got us another bite. I'm at a different angle right here. I'm trying to be real quiet, but still, I put it in that sweet spot, and that's what happens. If you catch one, throw it right back. Come on back over here. Get out of my motor. They'll do it every time. That's a good one. Pretty good fish. But if you can throw back after you catch a fish at the same angle, you'll find... In the same place, you'll find out something. There'll be more fish there normally. Angles are very, very important. Angles, anglers, you know, it, it just matches. Now I got another top right over here. I'm gonna take the pressure off of this one. Let's see if we can locate, see if there's a fish on this top. We go. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. It's on a different tree. I was hunting and hunting and hunting and blow through about seven or eight trees before I got. Woo! This one's real dark. Look here. Now that's a pretty fish. Look how dark that male is. That's the male right there, and that's beautiful. I love it when they're that color. There ain't nothing like it. Come on in here. It'll be easy with him. It's beautiful. A beautiful fish, to say the least. That old screeching bird, I don't know what's wrong with him. I guess he's wanting to make a nest. All right. <laughs> man, 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 that's a pretty fish. I'm too close to this top right now. Really? There's a fish, you know? I don't like to get this close to the top. Spook them out in a heartbeat. If you don't watch it oh my goodness that's a good one right here I'm trying to be quiet because i might catch another one right there it's a good fish come here boy you done you got that jig too far down in your mouth to not be done. <laughs> God. That's a crappie. That ain't a crappie. That's a crappie. That's something else. Go on back. You know... There's a lot to be said about a lot of different things, but saying too much about one subject, and uh, you can't really, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's catch another one. I'm gonna just flip it back there, just like that, and see. Maybe I didn't spoke them, but there's some fish right there. Well, I don't know. I got him. I just kept on the one hit. <clears throat> if 
fish come up to the top of the water like a bass fish. Look at him. Woo, he's mad. Him don't like this at all. I'm going to let you go, though. They don't understand it. When they get a hook in their mouth that way, they don't know what in the world's going on. They just don't know. They ain't got a clue. They just know they don't like it. See how we got him right there. Yep. Groovy. That is cool groovy. That's the words back in my day. Go on back in there. On it. I want to say thank y'all very much for watching spending another day with me certainly a beautiful day the birds are nesting springtime i think is here although we may have some more cold fronts uh we still have blackberry winter to go and dogwood winter and things of that nature for the most part springtime is here and like i say thank y'all for watching the great comments everything y'all have done for this channel it's been a remarkable experience and I, I, ooh, that sun's coming.